In this video, I'll be showing you how to get the level 3 Sword Moblin, the level 3 Lazalfos, and the level 3 Dark Nut. These Echoes are extremely overpowered and are the highest level within their Echo category, and they completely annihilate all of the enemies they face. The first echo that I'll be showing you how to get is the level 3 Sword Moblin, who as you can see is much more powerful than its counterparts of the level 1 and level 2. Unlike them, he can absolutely destroy his enemies at any given time, and it's going to cost 5 triangles to use, but it's definitely worth it once you have it, and can save you from a lot of pain and blocks as well. Now there are two places to find this level 3 Moblin. For the first one, we're going to start at Hyrule Castle Town, right over here at this warp point. From here, you're going to make your way all the way to the right, And then from there, go all the way up north. Turn east. To this area. And then you'll arrive at another warp point right over here. From this location, you're then going to go behind this building, which will later be known as Dampe Studio. And then you're going to pull out your Crawltula. As soon as you pull it out, make sure that you bind onto it. That way it's not going anywhere. And then what you're going to do is hit R to follow, which is basically using the ability known as Reverse Bond. And what that's going to do is allow you to crawl up this wall entirely. Now, this is a very broken echo because this spider will keep going up and and up and up and eventually you'll then find yourself up here in the cold area also known as hebra mountain now if you want to stay safe before going up the mountain i do suggest you make some recipes with warm peppers and possibly milk or if you want a really long lasting potion to keep you warm during the cold up in hebra you can use a warm pepper and a golden egg for ice proof for five minutes from this location you can then go up this entire pathway here there will be level two moblins it's a level two moblin camp so you can either work your way around them get to the top and then use the trampoline or bed to get across onto these trees and then from those trees you can get over to the other side or you can go to the right side of this area and then melt the ice cubes with something that may have fire attached to it like this ignizol and then you're going to walk into this cave here and that's where you'll see this level three moblin once you defeat feed him you can then learn the echo and in that chest is where you'll find the energy belt which will allow energy to basically show up that'll appear after defeating dark monsters which will help you while you are in your sword fighter form now for the second location for where you can find this level 3 moblin you just have to go from hyrule castle right in front of it by that warp point and make your way left then go all the way up north until you arrive at this warp and then make your way into the forest what you want to do from this point is go as left as possible within the forest and then go north and every time you can go left go left and eventually you'll bump into another level three moblin which you can take out and if you grab the chest right next to it you're going to get 50 rupees the one up in hebra is definitely the one i suggest you grab since it's a two for one also write down in the comments below what strategy you use to take any of these echoes down to help someone out the next level three echo we'll be going for is the lazalfos unlike its counterparts of level one and level two this Lizalfos can go underwater and survive in it, as well as being an absolute warrior on the mainland. Now, to get to the level 3 Lizalfos, you're going to have to head over to the Farron region. We're also going to need to head over here later on for the next one. So, I'll just show you how to quickly get there if you're in the early game. What you want to do is right from this checkpoint right over here, this warp point, is reverse bond your spider as it crawls up certain trees. Let go of the reverse bond so you're just binding it. 
and then reverse spawn continuously to just get across until you arrive in the Farren wetlands region. Once you're there, just follow me and make your way over to this location where you will see this cave right over here if you decide to enter. Now you can enter the main way and go through this entire puzzle until you arrive at this Lizalfos level 3 over here. What you can do is get to the top of this cave and then when you're right above this water, dive right down and you'll enter into the fight with the Lizalfos. Now, if you do happen to go the puzzle route, here's what you simply have to do. Just follow this pathway just like this and make sure you're grabbing your air pockets as you're going through this puzzle. As you're going through this little maze area, make sure to kill the plants or completely avoid them so they don't eat you as you're coming down here. And when you come across these specific enemies, what you want to do is bind them and pull them back so they turn around. And then all you have to do is enter sword fighter form, hit the back, and you should be able to easily take it out and also register this echo into your inventory. And believe Believe it or not, these echoes actually help during your fight with this Lizalfos. Anyways, just follow this pathway, bind some of these boulders here to move them out the way, and then proceed further to get to the Lizalfos. So either way works to get to it, and feel free to list whatever strategies you use to beat it as soon as possible so you can help someone out in the comments. But once you defeat it, you'll be able to then have the Echo Level 3 Lizalfos. Next up on our list is going to be the Dark Nut Level 3. You first in the beginning of the game were introduced to the Dark Nut Level 1. And as you can see, this is how Dark Nut Level 1 is against a bunch of enemies. Gets absolutely destroyed. Here's what Dark Nut Level 2 looks like against a bunch of enemies. Destroyed again. But look at Dark Nut Level 3. Its armor is so strong that projectiles just bounce right off of it and it completely mulls down an entire group of spear throwing moblins. Now let me show you how to get it. Since you all now know how to get to Farron or have access to Farron, we're going to be going from this warp point right over here in the middle of Farron. And you're just going to follow me down this direction just like this. Get past these plants right over here where you see these little slimes on the floor and you're going to make your way into this building right over here on your map and what you're going to see are a bunch of armos which also are pretty much look like statues they come to life and what you want to do is move towards the second one and move that out the way that'll then reveal a ladder that you can climb right up now, once you climb up the ladder, you simply want to make your way towards the top right side here. Now, you have these little enemies over here that when you attack them, they turn to stone. If you do happen to use a bomb on them, they do break, and that's how you can learn their echo. Uh, they shoot these little pew pew beams, so you just want to be careful uh, of them. Anyway, you can't go all the way to the top right because it's blocked, so you just have to come around completely from the bottom and climb up these ladders. If you're curious, the chest on the bottom just has electro apples, nothing too crazy. And then you're going to make your way up these ladders over here, just like this. And then you could just break this so you can get out pretty easily. Then just go back and go up that ladder and that's where you will face the Deku Nut level 3. Now for this fight, I just winded up my Tokto Rock so it can completely annihilate this thing while also throwing out my level 3 Sword Moblin. And this did the job so easy. And after defeating it and you learn its echo, you're also going to have a treasure chest that contains the accessory Spin Brace in it, which is a sturdy but light shoulder pad that allows you to knock back foes that hit you with a spin. No way we can knock back those alphas too, right? Oh my gosh, you can even knock back these guys. If you enjoyed the crazy way how I took down the Dark Nut level 3, you're going to have to check out this video right over here where I show you how to get every single automaton, including that ridiculously OP one. Seriously, click on this video.